Hello and welcome to Japanese Jobs 205, where I talk about informal interpreting and translating, aka communication. Now, I will be honest, this is my favorite module, and I really hope that you also enjoy it, regardless of your Japanese language level. It only matters if you want to use your language skills anytime and in, into the future. These are going to give you some great tips in your advancement of the language. So let's get started. In this module, we will cover fluency and the JLPT. And if you follow me on any social media, you know that I have very opinionated uh, thoughts about this. We're also going to talk about the difference between professional and informal interpreters, translators. Then we'll go specifically into what informal interpreting and informal translating looks like. We'll put it all together and then you'll see how you can actually utilize it, whether you're searching for a job or currently working somewhere. Of course, it is, this is applicable to people who are freelancers, entrepreneurs, whatever they're doing. This all deals with the language component of using Nihongo in a career. So just a couple of things I'd like to say. A lot of times it is the act of communication that is more important than exact interpretation and exact translation. Yes, there is a place for the exactness. And I highly, highly respect people who are professional interpreters and translators. But honestly, a lot of the time, you don't need to be that exact. And you can be so helpful in a business setting with helping with smoother communication with your imperfect Nihongo skills. A degree is not necessarily important to do a lot of this work. Sometimes the company may assume that is the case, but I'm going to empower you with a lot of messaging so that you can make your case and promote yourself to say, hey, my, you know, my hands-on experience in Japan helped me. My experience with this is enough. So I may not necessarily need a degree or a certification to prove anything. And again, I'm very, very, very passionate about this. And I truly believe any level of Nihongo is fine, even if you're doing basic and up. It's the idea of wanting to help and wanting to improve. And when you have that opportunity to start at whatever language level you're at, you will be able to support and then naturally just grow into the role, learn a lot more Nihongo and be a become more fluent yourself as you're doing this. Perfection is not the end goal, although it could be. And I know a lot of you fellow perfectionists out there just want to become good at everything. And I was the same way, but honestly, a lot of times in business, it's just getting stuff done. You get to the goal, you get to the, you get the communication done accurately. It doesn't necessarily require hundred percent perfection, especially if things are going to change over time anyways. 